this process before you go to sleep at night and manifest anything that you want. Hi guys, I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a manifesting coach and mindset mentor, and I'm here to help you manifest your best life. If you're new here to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon to be notified of my new videos. Before you go to sleep at night is a really powerful time for manifesting, to do these law of attraction processes. It's a powerful time to focus, to plant ideas in your mind. It's a really important part of manifesting your ideal reality. So many of us get kind of lazy before bed, uh, we'll just watch TV or be on social media, but you need to be more deliberate at this time. It is a crucial time to kind of change your mindset and change your beliefs, change the way that you think on a regular basis. This very simple five minute process that I'm about to give to you is going to help you with any aspect of your life, anything that you're wanting to manifest. Now the process is in three steps, so make sure you watch to the end of the video so you know exactly how to do it. When you sleep, you switch off, but your inner being, the true version of you, is awake. Your inner being is awake and aware and powerfully focused on everything that you've asked for. So during your sleep, what you want is active. It is activated. It is lit up and you are aligned with it. By doing this process before you go to sleep, you are making the light of your desires brighter. So then when you wake up, you're there. You can feel it. You can feel the essence of it. You feel it as if it is real and now, which it is. Your desire has been activated and you are the true version of yourself. The version that is living all of these things, that has access to all that you've asked for. You are tapping into that when you wake up in the morning. And then it's more likely that you are going to take this positive energy and focus into your day. You are going to be at that higher vibration. Okay, you're going to be that version of yourself that you want to be. You're going to have access to clarity, to ideas, to inspired action to take. Etc. And by starting the day off like that, it is so much more easy for you to stay in that good feeling place, that high vibration, and it's going to be easier and easier every single day. So what is the process? What do you do before going to sleep at night? Again, I want to remind you that this is a five minute process. So you can take longer than that, but you do not need to take more than five minutes to do this. It is important that you're not trying to do this process after watching a really dramatic TV show or, you know, something that has just really got your attention in kind of a negative way. You want to be in more of a positive or relaxed state. So you want to have taken the time to wind down before you're getting into bed. Uh, maybe that's reading a book or meditating or visualizing or using your gratitude journal or listening to some good feeling music and dimming the lights, maybe lighting a candle, whatever gets you into that state of relaxation, of ease, because then you're going to be more receptive and ready to do this kind of a process and have it actually work better for you. Okay, so step one of the process is quiet your mind. When you quiet your mind, you are letting go of anything that you no longer need, that no longer serves you. You are letting go of resistance and you are allowing the true version of you to come through, the future version of you to come through. You are allowing clarity. So what you're going to do to quiet your mind is to take three deep breaths in and out. Okay. But when you are breathing in, don't breathe in from your lungs. You want to be filling your diaphragm, your your abdomen. That is deep breathing and that's what you want to be doing. Okay, if you just breathe into your lungs and you don't use your diaphragm, you're really not getting that deep breath that you could be and it's so much more relaxing. So take three deep breaths in and out, letting go of any negativity, any resistance, anything that no longer serves you, anything that you need to let go of and really allow yourself to let go. You want to get into a more relaxed and conscious state of being and being more relaxed means you're more receptive. If taking those three deep breaths did not help you or you need something extra, focus on 
you know, the sound of a ticking clock or, you know, the sound of dripping water or something simple like that, the sound of a fan, until you have distracted yourself enough that you're not focused on your thoughts. You are focused on the now moment. There's no right or wrong way to do that. You're just trying to get into that mode of relaxation in any way you can, but usually the three deep breaths is enough to get you there. Step number two of this process is to visualize the version of yourself that already has what you want, is already living what you want. Now this version of you exists and it is actually a part of you right here and now. And when you are in alignment, when you're feeling really good, you tap into that. And those are the moments where you feel your desire. You can feel the essence of it. You might get a glimpse of it or a feeling like, oh, it feels real, like right here and now. You are tapping in to that version of yourself that is living everything that you want. What I like to do with visualization is to put on some sort of music that is kind of like a soundtrack, an emotional soundtrack to what I am visualizing. Even doing this visualization for two minutes is enough time for the law of attraction to start working and the manifestation to start occurring. So if it helps to use some sort of music that kind of sets the tone, um, something uplifting, something that brings out the emotion that you're trying to feel. Okay, so something that feels joyful, inspiring, exciting. See yourself living the most amazing life. And don't hold back, just see it, just see yourself living the most amazing life and pick out the best, most fun aspects to focus on. So you're not trying to focus on every single little thing that you want to make it happen, no. That's not necessary. We're trying to create the tone, the vibration of what you want. You don't need to focus on every specific desire in order to make it happen, but we're just wanting to get into the feeling place of how you would feel if you were that version of yourself right here and now. How would you feel? You'd feel free, you'd feel fun, in love with life, satisfied, okay? Just find the emotion and practice that and use whatever imagery you can to get yourself to the emotion. It's not so important that you really see things vividly. The most important thing is how you feel, okay? A lot of people will tell you that you need to see things very vividly in your mind. You don't. Um, it can be beneficial if that's something that feels really good to you and it's easy for you to do. But you don't need to do that. You just need to find the imagery that conjures the emotion within you. Feel that for even two minutes and that is enough. An easy way to do this is maybe just think of if something comes to your mind that's like maybe the funnest thing that you can imagine, that's what you should be visualizing and focusing on. Um, also, ask yourself, what is your ideal day? What would be your ideal day? Okay, in this ideal reality that you want and have already created, what does your ideal day look like? And then just play that through briefly in your mind for a few minutes. You're not wanting to force anything, you want it to just be fun. You want this to be a fun game. You're not trying to make anything happen, okay? You're just wanting to feel good and better and better, okay? If this is your first time doing this or it's something that maybe you don't do regularly, um, it can be difficult at first, but as you do it and do it, practice makes perfect, it really does. So. You do this every night, you're getting into the habit. It just feels more natural to you and more easy for you to do it. And step number three after you've done that is to set your intention. You are going to set an intention every single night before you go to sleep. Intention setting is so powerful and so important. I use it every single day for almost every single experience that I am moving into setting intentions of how you want something to happen, how you want to experience something. You're setting yourself up for success and doing this the night before is so, so powerful. This is a very general and simple intention that I'm going to give you, but it works. It is so powerful, but you need to be consistent. 
Here is what you're going to say to yourself every night. It is my intention that as I sleep tonight, I will align with my desires and all that I've become. And in the morning, I will wake up in alignment as the true version of myself. So you might want to write that down and read it every night um, or you can change it slightly to suit you. This intention is so powerful because you're not talking about specifics, but you are addressing everything, okay? Because when you are in alignment, it means that you are in alignment with everything that you've asked for. So that's all you need to actually manifest what you want. By saying this intention, you are acknowledging that what you want is already done. And you are asking, intending to access that, access your desires, access that inspired action, access the ideas and the clarity. Tap into that higher version of yourself, into those higher vibrations that you want to be at. Every little single thing that you've asked for is done and it is sitting on a frequency. Okay, waiting for you. You have access to that. And by doing this five minute process and saying that intention, you are choosing to access it. But if you like, and if it's fun for you, you can take longer with the process. There's no right or wrong. Every time that you use this process, every day that you use it, it becomes more natural and it gets easier. And it's the same with waking up in that positive state of mind, that high vibration. In the beginning, you may wake up in that good feeling space, but it might not last all the way into your day, okay? Because you're just getting the hang of things and that's okay, that's normal. As you keep doing it, momentum builds, it gets easier to feel good and it is it becomes your natural state of being. You need to give your energy and momentum a chance to turn around and go in the other direction. This is just gonna help you so much with your alignment, with staying at that higher vibration more of the time and manifesting more of what you want than not. This is something that I use every day and I swear by. All right, so try out that process and let me know how you go in the comment section below. Make sure that you share it with anyone who you think it will benefit. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.